Father, we thank you and we bless you because you are God. We worship you today because you are holy. You powerfully call us into spaces and places where we can imagine and live and be fulfilled in your presence. We thank you for the presence of the living God that assures us, that guarantees us, Lord, of your might, your power, your ability, and your strength concerning us. We worship you in the name of Jesus, and we lift up your holy name because you are amazing. Lord, we surrender, Lord, to this life that you've given to us. We connect, God, to this space, Lord, that you have called us to, to live powerfully. We thank you for your ability to conquer all things concerning us. We bless you because you advise, you advise us through your word. Lord, you give to us life and strength. You grace us in your presence, and we come to worship. We come to do the work of worship. We come to thank you because you are amazing. We come to do the work of worship, and we come to lift you up because there is none like you. We thank you, Lord, that we understand that you continue to feed us with knowledge and understanding and grace and peace, and we worship and we worship you because you are mighty and you are awesome. We pray today, Lord, that you will refresh us. We pray that you will revive us. We pray that you will renew us. Lord, refresh our thinking and reset our understanding. Lord, revive our souls. Yes, we, we pray for a, a revival of the soul that you, Lord, will bring and pump fresh blood and, and send fresh wind and give to us fresh oil, Lord, for our soul, for the way we think, for the way we feel, uh, for the way we determine our life ought to be. We pray revival. Will you revive us again? Revive us, Lord. Revive us from old old habits. Revive us, Lord, from old traditions. Revive us from former cultures. Revive us from former thinking. Revive us again. We, we pray thee, O oh God, hallelujah, the son of thy love for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. We pray for home revivals. We pray, God, that you will rest in our houses, in our domiciles, in our places of residence. We pray, Lord, that you will extend your grace and your presence and that you'll revive our homes. We pray for family revival. We pray for personal revival. We pray, God, for the revival of connection with you, the revival of desire. We pray for the revival of creativity. And, Father, we pray for the revival of dreams. We pray that the way we have been being, God, that you will revive us, that we might walk powerfully in in this present situation that we might rejoice constantly in our circumstance rejoice in the Lord always ah we hear the apostle saying and again I say rejoice we pray for a revival of rejoicing a revival that worships a revival that yields love a revival that speaks your word a revival that renews our mind we pray for revival, for personal revival. Lord, before there can be a family revival, we need individual revival. We need you to stir the embers in our own soul. Stir, God, the, the gospel embers. Stir the worship embers. Stir the evangelistic ember in us that 
we might live to the praise of your glory. We pray the revival of the house, the revival of our children. We pray for their salvation. God, you have pointed us towards this evangelistic road. And now, Lord, we pray. We pray that you give to us the ability to win the loss. We pray that you give to us the ability to speak, Lord, into those that are downtrodden, those who do not know you. We spend our time this morning interceding and trusting and believing. We know that you are God. We know that, 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 that we shall say to these things in the revival that if God be for us, then who can be against us? We pray for a revival of conviction that we might know, hallelujah, not that, not that we just say it, but that we might know that God is for us. We pray for a revival of faith. Lord, will you revive our faith? Will you stir us? Lord, even in the midst of these challenging times, will you revive our faith so that we are not leaning and looking for man? We are not depending upon something and someone outside of you. Will you revive our faith? Will you revive us so that we are not anxious for nothing? But your word is declared that, and, and which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his band of life. Lord, will you revive our faith so that it arrest our anxiety? Will you abide will you revive our faith, Lord, so that we will trust you when we cannot trace you? We pray for revival, revival of boldness. Lord, will you give us the boldness of the Holy Spirit to minister to those that are broken and to those that are lost? We pray pray, Lord, for an evangelistic anointing. We pray for the revival of the evangelists in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, for the revival of the evangelistic spirit in us, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, will you give to us the ability to share the gospel, to encourage the discouraged, Lord, to speak hope to the hopeless. In your name, God, and we pray and we believe and we know, we thank you that you bring us back, Lord, to your plan of salvation for us, that we might be in you, holy, holy, holy thine. Will you speak powerfully in our life? And God, will you revive our understanding? Will you renew, Lord? Lord, your presence in our lives, that we might understand, that we might live to the praise of your glory. We thank you that your plan for salvation is communicated, Lord, and throughout the entire scripture. And so we bless you, Lord, that you give us a road map to you. We bless you that you speak, Lord, powerfully in our lives. And so we thank you that you give to us the ability to address the human problem. Ah, God, that the human problem, that we, according to your word, that there's no one righteous, not even one. The human problem, Lord. Ha, ah, we confirm, Lord, that we are sinful and that our sinful state has separated us from the holiness of God, and that there is none righteous, no, not one, for all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. So, Lord, we ask, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask for the revival of life. We ask for the revival of faith. We pray a renewal, God, of prayer. 
presence, that we would be renewed in your presence. For in the presence of God is the fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And so, Lord, because we have all sinned and we've come short of your glory, ah, yalabu shika, because there's none righteous, not even one. And, Lord, because the wages of sin is death, Lord, we thank you that there is hope for the unbeliever. There's hope for sinners, for salvation comes through Jesus Christ, the gift of God. You're the gift of God. So we pray today that we understand the gift of God. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So we acknowledge our human problem. We understand the human error of the heart, but we thank you for humanity's hope that is in Christ. You are our hope, Ebo Sheka, we have hope in you because you loved us enough to send Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, that while we were yet sinners, while we were still in our mess, while we were still messed up, Christ died for us. Hey, God, Christ died. You died. You thank you, Lord for your sacrificial death. You died for us while we were still in our mess, while we were still in our old frame of thinking, while we were still in our old way of living, while we were still, God, being rebellious and disobedient. You died while we were still in it. You were making provision to bring us out of it. And, Father, we thank you that the human condition is that all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. We thank you, Lord, that we understand that we were messed up without you. Our human problem is that there is none righteous. But, Lord, you have declared, even in the midst of our unrighteous state, that the wages, the payment for our sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We thank you that our hope, our hope of living again, our hope of revival is in you. You demonstrate your love to us that while we were still sinners, you died. While we were still messed up, you died. But we thank you that we saw their death. We believe, God, that you died for our sins. So we come, Lord, to respond to that act of love that you might revive us again, that if we declare with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, so we declare it today, we declare it today, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus, come on, open your mouth, saints, Jesus is Lord, and we believe in our heart that you raised him from the dead. Not only do we confess that he's Lord, we absolutely, unapologetically believe that he is alive, that you raised him from the dead. You promised, Lord, that we would be saved. But with the heart, we believe and we're justified. And it is with our mouth that we profess our faith that we are saved. I am saved. Huh? I am saved. While I was in sin, Jesus provided a way. He made a way for escape. I believed him. I confess him that he is Lord. I declare it. I confess it. I believe it in my heart. Hallelujah. And I thank you today. And I thank you today. And I declare your word, oh God, your word that is true in Romans 10 and 13 for Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, Lord, save, save, O oh God. Save, we pray, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you. We thank you, Lord, because you saved us. We thank you, O oh God, that as a result of our salvation, you've given us peace, wholeness, 
nothing broken and nothing missing. And we glorify you. And then, Lord, not only peace, but you justified us. You've given to us the spirit of justification. You've given us, given us the grace of justification. Just as if we've never sinned, you have declared, ah, God, because we decide to declare and believe you in our heart that Jesus is Lord, you then declare us holy. Ah, thank you. Therefore, since we've been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom we have gained access by faith into the grace where we stand. Thank you, Lord, for access. Now we declare, Lord, Romans 8 and 1. Ah, God, we declare it in the name of Jesus that there is therefore now no condemnation ah, to those who are in Christ Jesus. We worship you and we bless you as we walk out, Lord, our salvation and we live in revival. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Stay in this face and journey well.